How density affects solubility. Density is the degree of compactness of a substance. The more tightly packed molecules are, the more dense the object is. To find density, one must divide mass by volume. This shows that density, mass, and volume are related to each other. But is there a relation between density and solubility? Our group set out to find an answer to this question. Prior to our experiment, our group expected that as the density of the solvent increases, so does the solubility of the solute, and vice versa. We intended to create an experiment to prove our statement. In order to find out if our statement was correct, we took three beakers, one filled with 100 milliliters of distilled water, another beaker filled with 50 milliliters of isopropyl rugging alcohol and 50 milliliters of distilled water, and another beaker containing 100 milliliters of isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Our group chose a beaker con including 50-50 because it allows for an easier and clearer observation of the two different solvents' ability to dissolve salt. Each beaker was at room temperature, which is approximately 21 degrees Celsius. In each beaker, 36 grams of table salt was poured in and stirred for four minutes, and after stirring, we recorded our observations. We use the isopropyl rubbing alcohol because it is slightly less dense than water. Water has a density of 1 gram per milliliter, and the alcohol had a density of 0.786 grams per milliliter. Now we will begin our experiment. We put 36 grams of table salt in beaker A. As you can see on the post-it note, beaker A contains 100 milliliters of distilled water. This video demonstrates the rate at which we stirred in all three beakers. After stirring for four minutes, beaker A became slightly supersaturated. There was a very small amount of salt observable at the bottom, and the beaker was opaque. Next, we placed 36 grams of table salt into beaker B, which contains 50 milliliters of distilled water and 50 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol. After stirring beaker B for four minutes, two separate sections became identifiable. Uh, the top layer seems slightly supersaturated, while the bottom layer is supersaturated with a thick layer of salt on the bottom. Next, we added 36 grams of salt to beaker C. Beaker C contains 100 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol. After stirring for four minutes, beaker C became very supersaturated with a thick layer of salt present on the bottom. Our expectations were supported by the findings of this experiment. Increased density resulted in increased solubility as observed by the amount of salt not dissolved in each beaker. The less dense alcohol did not dissolve as much salt as the water did. Through this image, it is evident that density has a significant impact on solubility.